So should guys put the toilet seat down when they're finished? Absolutely. You know what I do? What? I close the big lid. And that way, if we're going to both touch it, we're both going to touch it. I never let the toilet escape without putting the big lid down. You're talking about the closing lid? Yeah. Yes! Always close that lid. Always. Not just the seat, but close because there, all of there, it. Because it is, it is unfair that you are presented with a throne to sit without having to touch anything. We got to touch it like twice. First of all, you got to wash your hands because... If you're touching it. But I don't want to touch it at all. That's the point is you have to touch it zero because we just gave you the, the throne to sit there exactly right. how you wanted it. Here's a question. Yeah. Again, TMI and disgusting, but here That's we are. Um, do you men truly have to lift that? Will it just like spray everywhere if you don't lift that middle seat? Oh, you mean if you get some splatter on the, the edges? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, is like that like just, a pretty real thing that it'll splatter? If you with know? the right practice. Like they have these little inserts that you can put to make a little target and you can practice hitting dead center. They have these little stickers that you put up on the bowl and you can practice hitting an actual spot. But every once in a while, depending on your level of excitement, sometimes you deviate <laughs> from the, depending the areas. Depending on your level you of excitement. Your scope, you don't have your scope. And sometimes you'll, you'll get some splatter. And I would much rather pick the seat up than wipe the seat off from some splatter. Really? We can, we can make a mess sometimes, yeah. You'd rather pick it up than wipe it off. Yeah. And put it back down. Yeah, I don't mind it so much. I just think it's unfair that you don't have to pick it up at all. Wouldn't we the, have to do every time. Wouldn't the splatter then get in uh, on the bowl with the seat up? Wouldn't the splatter still oh, get Oh, we there? make a mess. I don't know if you ever cleaned a restroom in any of your, your yeah. jobs. Yeah. Uh, we make a mess. Yeah. Yeah. Men are disgusting. Totally disgusting. Especially when they don't put any of the seats down and they don't even flush. That's fun. Flushing. That's, that's a sin right oh there. Oh my God. So in the motorhome, it's a much smaller toilet than your normal one. So your, your, the space that you have to aim at is much smaller. Yeah. So we have a policy that everybody sits. And so like guys, you lose a lot of testosterone because we make everybody sit down to pee. Everybody. You lose a lot of testosterone. You do. That's one thing that will... I don't know why men wouldn't want to do that anyways. I mean, obviously, you're not going to do that in a public restroom because it's a urinal, and so that's not going to fly. But like I see, at I, home, is there, is there a big... I, I think we mark our territories w with, our, with our stream, right? We're used to like pissing on trees and showing where, where we're at. And when you sit down... You're not really doing that. Your, your biology doesn't get its expression of marking territory. When you're standing up, you get the full throttle. This is my crap. It makes you feel good. It does. Like, that's why testosterone goes up well, when and you're I, marking your territory. I feel like, too, guys now, some of their clothing, you don't have to totally then undo and take down everything. You can just sort of do it. Yeah. And it's just, faster. Yeah. Like a time saver. Total, total time saver. And honestly... So when when you women go to the bathroom, you're in there for like 10 freaking minutes because you're in the seated position and then you start going like this and you're first in there forever. First of all, we go into the bathroom, <laughs> zip, whip, out of there. Listen, 100% that's not true. Totally true. If you ask, let's do a study of who takes longer in the bathroom, men or women. Sit. Listen, when going to the bathroom is all they are doing. Men are in there way longer than women. In the seated position. Yes. If you're in the upright position, if we said, all right, both of us have to pee. I got the checkered flag. I got the green flag. Go. Who comes out first? The, it is the man every that time. That is hundred percent not true. That is so not true. And the only reason if a woman is in the bathroom longer than a man, it's we're doing other stuff in there. We gotta I know that our is hair, my complaint. Fix our makeup. No, I, we're talking or, about just the action of evacuating the bladder. Okay. You just have, women win that every, every day of the week. You are in there longer, you will agree with that. No, men are in there evacuating longer. Evacuating the bladder, you're saying you go to a seated position and it's a to Z, you're up and down as quick as possible. BS. BS. I could I could Let's... time you on a calendar when you, especially you go there together, right? Then the conversations happen. But and... a, that's doing something more. I know that you can't fight the temptation that when you're in a seated position to do more than just getting the deed done and getting back to the table so we can eat our rolls. Do you think women go to urinate and? Feel the need to be on our phone. Whatever, whatever you're doing, you're elected. You're in a seat. I, I'm saying. I can see the get, other side when you're gonna when be you're in there. When you're standing and but. you've got to 
thing to do. You don't want to be there any longer than you have to. Like in a porta potty, you're not like in there hanging out. Yeah, no, doing you stuff, want right? out quick. Yeah, and so same thing. If you're on a comfortable seat and you're in a position, and maybe pop open the Reader's Digest and doing something while you and you get caught up in the action and you have a conversation, your imagination and you goes. have a conversation. Yes, with the stall next to you. What do you think happens in I'm, a woman's I'm restroom? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I have you. conversations. There, there's a whole Instagram reel of you prettying up in the mirror, but that's after the deed, so we're not counting that. But still. Again, you're describing instances of public groups of women in bathrooms together. That's a whole different thing. But you can't. I'm saying all of the temptation. So even if you were alone and went to a single occupant bathroom and you're in the seated position, it would take longer than if the whip zip gone guy was not in necessarily that Absolutely. no you, it's it, all we, on how full your bladder do, is do we have to have the piss off at the I olympics feel like here we do we're gonna have to start timing people except now you got to make sure you're not running and then running out because then the test is going to be flawed so we we don't drink anything in the morning we'll each drink a two liter of water no two liters of freaking lot 16 ounces yeah. of water we'll give it about a half hour so we have the same uh bladder fill and then we'll have someone hold the timer and we'll go to it and see who takes longer. It's got to be dispense. timed when they don't know they're being watched. Right, 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 right. Yeah, that because that ruins it because you're now gonna, you're just going to rush. Yeah, you're going to go faster on purpose. I don't want you blowing out purpose. your urethra or anything like that. We want it to be authentic. But I think if you didn't know it was part of a race, women would take at least twice as long as guys. What about, oh, this is gross. What about not urinating the other way? It's it's probably proportional. The dookie no. takes longer anyway. But The dude takes longer. I, no way. Yeah. No. Yes. No. Why do we have, women have this whole running joke we hear all the time about waiting for a man to get out of the bathroom. Like, what are you doing in there? I'm out here with the kids. I'm out here trying to leave. I'm blah, blah, well, that's blah. Different. Can you not I, take We're just forever? talking about the duty duty, right? Yeah. We're not talking about escaping other people and having a library of peace and quiet where nobody really will walk in on you doing anything. That's a different thing. That's a, I don't know, that's trauma. And, and the, <laughs> what if you've got kids, I just want a minute yeah, to right. myself. But I'm just saying the action of taking the bladder and making it empty Right. If you take the common man and woman, the woman is always going to take longer because she is in the seated position and you find other things to do when you're in the seated position. I would not say it's that. I could say, let's study the size of bladders, men and women. I'd say, let's study what all they do or accomplish in the bathroom. Do they straighten their hair? Do they take longer washing their hands? Do they whatever? If it is just simply the timer from start to finish of emptying your bladder. I don't, women don't just go in the bathroom and hang out. And if they're by themselves, like. Or could I, can I compound that? They, I should say, this is what I mean. The act of sitting down does not make us want to do more than what we're there to do. You don't linger. There's no. not like a pre and post game. I mean, I can't say I've never, like you said, if, if I need a moment to myself, if I'm tired, you know, I just woke up. Uh, there, I'm sure are instances that I am not in and out as fast as I could be. Let me put an exponent on this. Okay. Not only does it take you longer, you do it every 20 minutes. So on the That's aggregate. That's true. It, on the aggregate, if you act, if you added up all the piss time over the day, yeah. you'd have a higher number than me. Listen, no argument here. I've, I've been holding it for like an hour now. I could go all the time, but. I got pee now. <laughs> <laughs> well, stop, watch. Go yeah. time them right now. <laughs> 